Mike grabbed Terry by the collar as the Duke made fun of Zara's weight during the coronation. Prince Harry attended his father, King Charles III's coronation over the weekend without his wife, Meghan Markle, and the two kids. Questions about whether Harry, 38, would attend at all plagued the royal family in the weeks leading up to the big day. The prince is no longer working at Royal after he quit the UK for California back in 2020. Harry has repeatedly spoken to journalists about his time spent in the firm and even wrote to tell All Books Spare, which was released in the UK on the 10th of January. Royal watchers were expecting something of a frosty reception for the prince when he arrived at King Charles's coronation. Some members of the royal family couldn't help but express their displeasure at Harry's graceless actions. That whole arm around his back was very, I'm going to steer you exactly where to go. Under the guise of being clumsy, similar to what Megan does when she's just so in love, she stares him where to go. They lulled him into a false sense of security by being nice so they could make sure that he got to his seat. He also commented on Zara's weight at the Queen's funeral service. The time he was telling her she wasn't as big, it was after she had her son. She wasn't amused. She'd drawn the short straw for that event. About the coronation, I saw Mike Tyndall put his body between Harry and Zara when the royal family started leaving. Mike seems to have realized that this traitor is about safe, thoughtless jokes to her. Zara. He commented Zara's body something like she looked like she'd lost weight. The last time he'd seen her, she was pregnant or newly postpartum. According to lip readers, he commented on Zara's weight loss just before the booing. It looked like he was complimentary and losing weight. Gestures and some keen-eyed sinners pointed out another sign of his dreadful inability to read the room. You shouldn't make the first topic of conversation, and to be honest, it shouldn't be a topic at all. Why does Harry have to pass a comment on a woman's size? He's such a pleb. And Zara wasn't the only victim of Harry's ridiculous joke. Body language expert Judy James made these scathing accusations. He pointed out how he arrived in the guise of Harry the Joker, miming Eugene's heavily pregnant bump to make his cousin and husband Jack laugh, before falling back to walk in alone, not in a way that looked solitary or shameful, but with a jaunty stride and a beaming grin as he spoke or acknowledged people in the congregation like old friends. It was a very counterintuitive act of body language, defiance, and resilience and a very different cocky Harry than we'd seen on his most recent visits to the UK. Eugene looked hurt and embarrassed and immediately tried to pull a coat across the exact opposite of Meg's coat flick performances. She also quickened the pace to put some distance between herself and Harry. Eugene and Beatrice have been belittled and made fun of because of their appearance and wait for years in the media which would, of course, be incredibly difficult and harmful to their mental health. The fact that Harry made a large belly gesture is disgusting. I'm sure that Eugene's expressed her disdain for those comments made in the past, but Harry doesn't think or care about anyone else but himself and his wife. Disgusting that he would add fuel to the fire and make her feel self-conscious as she's about to walk down the aisle in the church with millions of people staring at her. It only takes one comment to shatter the confidence. 